the indentation of the leaf. Oh yeah, you can tell that I the... bet you look by and looky, here's oak leaves everywhere. This was all yeah, filled but... up with water and you could fish in here just a few a few weeks ago people were fishing up in here. Look at that, like insta. Uh, that actually looks like a, a raccoon or something. Look at that. And then this now right this, here is this looks like wood here. It looks like petrified, like petrified wood. wood. Yeah, look at that. This is part of the lake we've definitely not seen before. Wouldn't a house up over here? See, the water went in all these inlets right here. And uh, when they drain the reservoir... These rocks have been really covered up with water for a long time. And there's my favorite sound. Flushing of water. Can't go up here without seeing what's on the other side of the hill here. Oh, there you go. Isn't that beautiful? November the 28th, 2017. Having a near 70 degree day and all is well. Now there's a couple of houses up in here, you can see them. And he's still looking at rocks. <laughs> okay, obviously they've drained this area here too because the water stops right here, so I'm not going to go on around that way. You can see where the water was here and how it eroded away. And then the water was up this high. And they lowered it, probably what, maybe 15 feet? Oh yeah. Unbelievable. Look, look at this, it's a leaf. Oh yeah, look at the leaf. It is a leaf. That looks more like a maple, doesn't it, right there? Well, in Noah's flood, actually, the answer to these rocks is basically that there was a global flood and it couldn't have taken uh, that long for things to be buried. If you look at the fossils, the fossils are re records of rapid burial compression and the, the preservation of even footprints of animals and species. And when you have, if you look around at the debris uh, here from the uh, trees and stuff, they're going to rot away. The leaves will rot away. The, uh, the debris, as far as the wood, it rots away. But when you look at the fossil record, even here, there's an impression of a leaf that was preserved which shows a rapid, 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 rapid burial. And it couldn't have happened over billions and millions of years. For one thing, just like the leaves around here, they would have disintegrated and not uh, been preserved. You come back next year, all the leaves will be renegotiated within the landscape and the, uh, and the life of the lake. But the life here, you can see, was buried with sand, gave the impression of life that existed then and you can even see on this the waves of the water see the little ripples of the water now look out here on the lake you see the ripples of the water well look out ripples inside of ripples it's, it matches the type of ripples we've got here it was water based water formed and to capture this kind of rippling effect had to be a very massive boom uh uh, experience. It was a rapid, rapid event, and the only event that I know of that accounts for that is Noah's flood. Yep. And you can see the rippling on the different, uh, uh, the different land. You see the ri rippling of the water. Well, I mean, the rock caught that, and then it caught some portion of life. You see there. Looks like a bird feather there. Could be a bird's wing or something, but uh, yeah, some sure. forms. In order to actually find out what forms you right there. Yes, different forms of sea life and other different kinds of life are captured within this stone. Even the smallest stones. Yes. The ripping the rippling of the water. See let me take see here the ripples? Yes. Ripples of the water. Look out here. The ripples of the water. In the flood, it was such a catastrophic event that it even caught the impressions of the rippling of the water in in the stone. It's amazing. And what does the Bible say about this? What we would see? 
what we see in the present cannot be interpreted as the events that happen in the past. God said creation is not no longer going on. God said the flood was a dry, the dramatic event that was captured in the stones. So what you see in the fossil record, you actually see a burial of different ecosystems. Time is irrelevant to that. Ecosystems were buried. The first sea creatures were swept up upon land. They were buried, the impressions. And then you get to the trees and the plants. Different ecosystems is what you see in the geological column. And they were buried as the waters prevailed upon the earth for over a year. And you can see, just like this leaf, this doesn't happen over slow eons and billions of years. And the capturing of a ripple in the water, if you look at the ripples in the water that we've illustrated here, it just doesn't, that's not the way it works. Quick happen. It was a death sentence to the world. God said the world was violent. And uh, if you look at the, uh, and, and, and it was in disarray and he was going to eliminate life as we know it. But Noah found favor with God and God preserved the animals because of Noah and he also preserved life as for Noah. The number one question we get when we talk about Noah's and the flood is people want to know how did he get all the animals on the ark? Well, he, they never said that the animals were adult animals. The animals were babies. They were much smaller. They, uh, they, they, and they could wouldn't have been have babies, them. but the thing about cattle, there's different species like the dog kind. If you look only at the dog kind, over the last hundred years through selective breeding, we have produced all kinds of shapes and varieties of different dogs, but they're still dogs. Uh, but there's all kinds of varieties. Mm -hmm. And uh, that, that's a pretty rock. I love rocks. I think it's a part of a geode. Tumbling, the geodes were made by tumbling. Well, they thought so, it was from the Ice Age. Well, so explain that, what you think of that, because the ice came The Ice Age was a reality. Yes, there was an Ice Age. But when you look at the rocks, and you see here that you see life in different ecosystems that were buried, it doesn't talk about billions or millions of years. It talks about a rapid event. This is a rapid event. It's tumbling. It's being tumbled. being pushed at a high, high pressure. Actually, a high, high pressure. High, causing the crystals inside. Mm -hmm. And that's why the crystals are not on the outside. It's yeah. like a, it's like a, a, um, a buildup of heat It was a tumbling then... of different elements mm -hmm. and it was a smashing of them in to pressure. produce under pressure of what we see here. But this is actually a water formed. Keep uh, that. We'll hang on to that. There, These are water formed. Um, there are rocks that are formed by um, by heat, and they're a different type of rock. Now, a lot of pressure went through here because we've got some valleys, some double valleys here, so the water would have really pushed. Oh, yeah. this. Th th here, grab that one. Let me see that. That's really cool. That that's has... a quartz. Yeah, there you go. There's a quartz. Sure is. I bet that polishes up nicely. And looky what do we have here. Another oak leaf. <laughs> you have a leaf. So, and what you see in so the there's life. There's life here. There's life all amongst here as they drain it every year. This leaf will not make a fossil. Real simple. Okay. So when I'm asked uh, to believe Darwin's theory and Lenzel's uh, evolution by slow processes, what you see here is a very rapid process, a very dramatic process in making the geode and other different things. A lot of water, a short amount of time. It... Look at this one. Look at the ripples. I want to show you guys if you guys can see this in the sunlight. Can you see the ripples in this little bitty rock? I'm not sure, but it definitely... What do you think that is? Look at this. Look at the... You know, are they stupid? No. It says they're willfully ignorant of the processes that it took to make this. And they ignore the processes. Just like this, you can see it. This is visible. The rippling that we see in the rock and the formations that we see in the rock, as Janie illustrated by uh, the lake, the rippling effect, it was an effect upon water that took a short amount of time that impressed not only the, the formation of the water, but the footprints of the animals. When we walk through here, when the water comes up, our footprints will be gone. But the rapid burial is captured here. 
it was an effect of water, the rippling effect of the water upon the stone. Mm -hmm. And it is amazing. There was all kinds of things going on. Uh, maybe a meteoroid shower, maybe a shifting of the earth. A lot of different things that could have happened. A weather change? It appeared uh, to be a lot There of definitely was a weather change after the flood because uh, there was the ice age. But not the billions of years. Of years. <laughs> yeah. Now see, we don't argue about the billions of years in reference to the first three days of creation because the first three days of creation has no clock time as far as the sun, moon, and the stars. So, so you've, got, you've got the time issue at the beginning, the first three days of creation, but you, uh, that does not fix Darwin's theory of evolution and uh, the idea of geology that things happened over lar long processes of time. You just don't see it. You don't see it in the stone. There's two different kinds of theory. One that is observational and the other is non-observable. Darwin's theory and the theory of long processes of time is non-observable history. What we see from history and what we see in the fall, fossil record and the rock itself is the same thing that you see here in the water. And the only way that you could have the indentation of the water captured in the rock, it had to happen quickly as described in the Bible. A lot of people say there's a lot of different ways to view that. No, there isn't. The rock speaks for itself. Jesus said the rocks would cry out and the rocks do cry out. And here it is, the rocks are crying out. There is life. And here is the example and the evidence of the ending of life after creation because of the violence and the foulness that had transpired after the fall. God loves us, he's with us, but the evidence in the rock says it's true anyone not see it it says they are willfully ignorant of the evidence and the evidence is captured right here in the rock and I didn't make it up the Bible account fits the evidence the other account doesn't fit I'm peeling off the shale and the layers there might be somebody captured in here that I'm not aware of <laughs> and that's actually you know how they found different birds and different creatures and stuff that's basically what they did they looked at the rock and then they um uh and today we're just kind of walking and looking at the lake and stuff and if you peel back the layers uh you might find something it's amazing it is amazing you're amazing you are i love you i've loved geology since i was a little boy and i'm uh I've been tutored. There you go. Here's some, uh, here's some sea life right here, and it looks like some uh, leaves with it. Right in here, and then right in here. Look the indentation, there. yes. Look at that. And if we peel back this, there might be something buried underneath here. So if you if you unlayer it, you can find all kinds of things, and that's how they found the different fossils. Are you taking this home, like or are you leave this one here? We'll probably leave that one there. Anyway, a little Maybe. lecture from my husband, the professor. <laughs> I just love listening to him talk about nature because he loves God and he's in love with, uh, he's in love with me. <laughs> um, and I'm in love with you. And I think that a lot of this is, this is what John and I met. This is what we shared. We shared that we knew we were both conservators of God's earth. And this is what we teach and this is what we want to be. This is what we want to teach others so that they can be this too. And this thing is to love what God has given us. And when we're blessed, we pay that blessing forward. And we hope that this video has blessed you in some way. We hope you've learned something from it. And we hope that you share it with others and so to be shared with. It's very important that we share the truth in our history and the truth in the earth. And John's right. God is the Bible. The rocks cry out. what we are finding to be true. Yeah, and the people that we talk to, they get tired of looking at the evidence. Don't show me any more facts. Don't show me the rocks. I'm just gonna believe what I'm gonna believe. Whether you're a Christian or an atheist, that's no way to be. Look at the evidence. Let the evidence form your thinking. 
Christ rose from the dead, God became a man, the message of the Bible is very clear. He's reaching out to you. He wants to have a relationship. I want to have a relationship with you. So be sure and subscribe and leave your comments below. Hit the bell. Hit the bell. Oh, that's a leap. I thought it was a little animal bouncing. <laughs> Could have been. That's probably how some of these little footprints got made over time. You know, it had to be a very quick. And I agree with Josh. These leaves didn't stick around for the period of time it needed. They disintegrated. They were an entropy. They disintegrated before they had a chance to leave the impression. The only way a leaf or a stick could leave an impression over that kind of time, it would have to be done pretty quickly. Rapid lot, burial. Rapid burial and rapid and a lot of heavy pressure. Yeah, massive, uh, massive event. And the Bible talks about a massive event. And we know that when we go see the caves and all the and the waterfalls and things that we saw, and you see rocks literally like this sitting on top. Let me get a couple of examples here. Rocks like this sitting on top of other rocks like this. And you're wondering, how did that happen? Look at that. <laughs> how did that happen? John, how did that happen? Tell them. Well, there's underground rivers and underground streams, and water level went down. Then the the water pressure couldn't uh, hold the uh, the weight of the of the earth, so the earth fell. The earth fell, and where the rocks landed is where they landed. And it's just a beautiful thing to see how they uh, land on top of each other and kind of cradled each other up. And then the water came back and formed the round rocks, while the flatter rocks of the upper part of that earth, uh, another layer of earth still on top of them. It's interesting. But whatever that was, that foot would have disintegrated before it became an impression in a rock. Yes. So what's that saying? Oh look, it looks like a person, like someone drew on the rock. Looks like a head and some arms. That, could that be a drawing in the, in the stone? Uh, I don't know. Look, here's something here. That looks so like a lot of life. life. Yeah. yeah, look, a lot of life. There was a lot of life in this little rock one time. And look how it all was formed in that same age, in that rock. Well, in uh, the, the formation of coal, the formation of our fossil fuels, the formation is actually rapid burial and uh, 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 an event like Mount St. Helens or other different catastrophic events that we can document historically. That's rose colored. I think this is still... Here we have, uh, this, this is, is granite. Right here we have granite. That's like a sandstone, so whatever the sand is made of. Enjoy yourself. Go out in nature and look at, uh, at God's creation. And uh, what you see in the Bible is true. And it's true to life and it's true to history. And people are in the process of rewriting, refocusing, trying to make history something that it isn't. I'm finding all kinds of geodes. It's amazing. God's blessings. Hit the subscribe button. Uh, come join us on our little homestead. Blessings. Just went a 15-foot walk, and already I found so many uh, some more. Looks like rose quartz. What is that? The evidence. Let it speak for itself. Okay, you got your collection. Yeah, I got my little collection. <laughs> All right, we're gonna head back. We love you. Go with God. Be sure and subscribe. And we're gonna be here till Saturday. Okay. We love you. Go with God. Blessings. Hit the bell. Subscribe. Tell John happy birthday down below. Okay. Happy birthday to you. <laughs> to 62. I've got 10 years to meet you. Happy birthday to you. Okay, that was the mean part. <laughs>